Welcome back my YouTube families. Happy New Year to all. I hope you all had a very good celebration and many more celebrations yet to come. Today I'm going to make a vegetarian dish which is called potato cheesy or cheesy potato patties or however I'll think about the name later. So I'm going to use some parsley. We don't need the stem so we're going to dice it, mince it. That's what it means. Set that aside. I've got here two, four, six, seven medium sized potatoes. I soaked it in the water so I don't want it to oxidize otherwise it will be like dark brown. So we're going to cut it into a smaller chunk and in the meantime please preheat your water to boil the potatoes. Maybe a litre to two litre water, maybe two litres water. Okay. So you can, see, you can see I've quartered the um, potato, I'm going to drop it in the boiling water. So I'm going to drop all the potatoes into the boiling water and let it boil until the potato is softened so you can pierce using a fork or a skewer just to test it. You can see it's boiled. I'm going to strain the water. I've drained the water and I'm going to use the same colander to mash it. You can either use this, use whatever you have. Okay, I'm going to use it in the same colander so it'll come through finer. You can see I've mashed that. Now we're going to combine all the ingredients. I'm going to put in the salt, garlic powder, just loosen it up because it's got stuck in the bowl some black pepper powder. All the ingre ingredients are, are mentioned in, in the description box, so please refer to the description box. So that's about three tablespoons of minced garlic. If you want me to repeat, I could. That is seven mashed potatoes, three tablespoons of parsley, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of pepper powder. And I've got here one cup of corn flour. So you toss all in, two tablespoons of milk of your choice. And I'm going to also include two tablespoons of oil, just roughly. Okay, that's about two tablespoons. I'm using avocado oil. It's up to you what oil you want to use. So as you're kneading, you will know whether you require more liquid. Don't add anything until it can form into a dough. So as you can see, because normally I don't have measurements, I'll just cook it. But today I'm measuring as I'm showing you how to make this patty. So I may have to add in another two tablespoon of milk. Two tablespoon, hopefully it's enough. So, so far I've already add in four tablespoons. I'm going to use my hand now to knead so I can tell exact consistency. Yeah, that's perfect. You don't want any more milk. I'm going to drizzle some oil on the bench so it doesn't stick. You can use parchment paper as well. That's another way. But I'm going to do this way. It's easier. Now let's transfer the dough onto the tabletop here. Scrape all out. So don't forget to preheat oil halfway to your, I'm using frying pan, so you would pour half of that frying pan oil and you got to flip to both sides to make sure it's equally cooked. Until it's done, so you get to cut it and the size is really up to you. I'm not measuring, most probably it will be 40 grams, so just rough estimate. So if you see, I need to take a little bit off, maybe 20 to 30 grams, yeah, that would be a perfect size, or you can make it even 40, it's a bit bigger, I think that's about the same, already heating up the oil at the moment, shape it into balls like that, place a bit of oil on your palm, so it doesn't stick to your hand, so rub a bit of oil like that, just give a gentle press like that, about 1, 1.5 cm thickness, you can place one, just press the cheese a little bit like that so it doesn't stick up. Or you can place two cubes. It's really up to you. But don't place more than two, depending on the size of your each balls that you make. Okay, now we'll close it up. And give a gentle press. Make sure you oil your board, otherwise it's going to stick. Okay, I may have to put more oil because I'm using this side. And that's it. Now I'll take it to a frying pan. We'll do one more, maybe two more. So it's easier for me. Okay, so squish it a bit. Another you know, smaller one because that's a bigger piece. Okay, and then just gently seal it and roll it and press it. So I'm going to place the patty gently so you don't splatter the oil on yourself. So you can see the oil is nice and hot. So I'm going to flip now. And that's how it looks. 
So flip it on the other side again, just to make sure that it's fully done. It should take about three minutes to cook it. And it's done, I'm going to take it off. Just plate it, just put it on a paper towel, so drain excess oil. See how beautiful it looks. Once it's fried, that's how it looks. Cook it until golden brown, or if you want it lighter, just three minutes will do, because the potato is already cooked. But if you want crisp, then you cook it longer until it's crisp. Okay. I'm going to bring it to room temperature. I am going to coat it with some parmesan cheese. I haven't got a fine one, but I've got this. Normally I use this for all pasta, but, or spaghetti, just to give a bit of a look. That's all. Okay, we're going to plate it. It's still hot. I've plated it like that. Or you can, if you have other ways of plating it, do it as you wish. And let's try one, okay? That's still very hot. It's nice when you tear it if it's still hot. It's so good by itself, or you can have it ketchup. It's up to you if you want any other sauces, but I'm going to have it just as it is. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Please hit subscribe and like. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.